Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today we're going to be making a batch of fertilizer tea and I'm going to be using Ivy Organics Organic Fertilizer which is a 333 fertilizer which has the nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. But one thing I like about Ivy Organics is it also includes macronutrients, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, and a little bit of iron as well which most fertilizers do not include those. So this box I got from Ivy Organics and it has actual tea bags already pre-filled with fertilizer. So all you need to do is drop those in some water and you're good to go. You can also make your own uh, fertilizer tea bags using regular tea bags and really any fertilizer that you'd like. Uh, so we're going to use this as a foliar feed on our fig trees and if we have any left over we'll be using it on our vegetables around the garden. And this is my first time doing a foliar feed on my garden. So I'm really excited to give this a try. From what I've read, this is really an immediate way to get nutrients into your plants. So if your plants are suffering from a nutrient deficiency, do a foliar feed because that is a much quicker way to get them the nutrients that they need. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. What I like to do is add some additional nutrients. So this is blackstrap molasses. So this is a really good source of, of calcium, iron, magnesium, and lots of other nutrients. So I like to just add uh, about a teaspoon or so to a gallon of water. So that should be good. And then I'm just gonna mix that around to get that well incorporated. All right, that should be good. And then all we do is add our air stone. So I just use this for, I used to have aquarium fish. So I just use that. You can get those on Amazon pretty easily. So we've got an air stone in there and I'm gonna plug that in. And then I'm just gonna let that go for a couple days and it'll be ready to use. And then I'm gonna dilute that with a little bit of water. I usually do about one to one and then give a little bit to each of my plants. So I'm going to add some saran wrap here to cover that up so it doesn't splatter all over the place. And then it'll be ready to use in a couple days. All right, our tea has been bubbling away for a couple days now and it's looking nice and bubbly. So that is a really good sign. Now the instructions on the Ivy Organics box don't say to use a bubbler and it doesn't need to sit for so long. But since we're using the bubbler and making it go for a couple days, this is gonna be a much stronger brew and I'm gonna be diluting that 50-50 with water. If you're not doing it this way, it won't be as strong and you don't need to dilute it. But I would recommend diluting this one just because it is much stronger. Right, I'm gonna be using the Petra four gallon backpack sprayer for the application. And I am an affiliate, so if you're interested in a sprayer, these are a really awesome tool to have in your garden and they do come in other sizes. Uh, but I think this is the largest one they have. And this here is a strainer, so if there's any solids in here, it will catch those. There's our tea bag. And you can use code GAPY on their website to get $10 off of any purchase. So we're going to go ahead and strain that out. And I mentioned we're going to be adding 50-50 dilution, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this bucket up with water. All right, we're ready to apply. Now these sprayers can get quite heavy and maybe a little bit difficult to get on if you don't do it right. So what I like to do is put it up on a higher surface, higher surface like a table, and then you could slip it right on. Now we've got our power switch here on the side. So we're just gonna turn that on. And we'll take our wand here so I'm going to start by fertilizing the figs we have here on the back deck. So I'm just going to 
do a foliar feed there. Nice spray. And you'll want to do this in the morning before it gets too hot. Um, it's about 8 a.m. right now, so it's not too hot yet. So let's go do the rest. Now the sun is already hitting these guys, but hopefully we'll be okay. It's not too hot yet. So you want to get the tops and bottoms of the leaves. Time to get the greenhouse figs. I actually forgot to show you this LSU Tiger in my fig update. It was back here in the greenhouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you now after I get the foliar feeding done. Might as well get the peppers while we're in here. All right, here's a closer look at that LSU Tiger. So this one has put on quite a bit of new growth this year. This is a fig that I just picked up uh, earlier this year. It was already rooted by someone locally and it seems to be a little bit later coming on. We have just some tiny little figs. It's only got main crop figs, so it doesn't have any figs coming out on the, the old growth. Uh, I think this is a striped fig, so I'm really excited to see how this one does. Uh, but I might just keep it in the greenhouse because it does seem to be taking a little bit longer to form fruits than some of the others. All right, let's go feed our figs in ground. Here's our Desert King, which doesn't really have any leaves, but it's got some trying to come out. So we're just going to go ahead and feed that one anyway. Maybe it'll help those along. Next up is the Olympian. Get our peppers too. These are Rakoto peppers. Lastly, we have our Laterula. Got a little bit of fertilizer left, so I'm gonna go get our peppers that are outside the greenhouse. And the last thing I wanna fertilize is the corn. All right, that should do it. All right, that is how I foliar feed my figs and other vegetables in the garden. If you're interested in the Petra Backpack Sprayer or the Ivy Organics Fertilizer, I'll put links to those in the description of the video. And don't forget to use my code GAPE for $10 off your Petra order. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.